Hey guys, this is Coach Crocker. Missing you guys on campus. I got the sun coming in my office window, wishing we could be outside walking from drill to drill, going to the dining hall, having a great time for these four days. Uh, a mantra I've been really been living by here for the last three or four months is that something is better than nothing. And I really appreciated you guys all signing up for camp and, and getting ready to come in here and really push yourselves to get better. Um, so I put together a few drills with one of my former players, went down to the playground because we can't even get in our gym right now. And we put some drills together that I think you guys will enjoy and get better from. Um, if you would like PDFs of all these drills plus an extra camp workout, if you go to the website tinyurl.com slash Emberg Hoops, and I'll say that again at the end of the video, tinyurl.com slash Emberg Hoops, you'll get a link uh, to all the PDFs of all the drills we did so you guys can try them yourselves. Basically, what we're going to be looking at is one basic kind of shooting, finishing footwork drill. I think one thing that's really uh, hard in today's game is, is spending time getting better. And this is a drill that uh, a coach that I know uses every day at the beginning of college practices for, for the first three or four weeks of practice. His guys are doing this thing every day on their own at the beginning of practice. Then we're going to go over two ball handling drills uh, for a lot of you guys, whether you think you're centers or guards or point guards or whatever, you got to get better with the ball. All right. We're going to do two ball handling drills. One of my favorite camp drills ever. Um, Got it from Coach Tobin Anderson, who got it from um, Five Star Camp, called the Chill Drill. And then we're going to do some two-ball uh, work, both stationary and, and our zigzag series. And then I'm going to give you a challenge, a shooting challenge, that I'd love to have you guys interact with me a little bit if you're on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, try the challenge and tag me at Coach Crocker and at Emberg Summer um, and see what you guys can get. Um, it's a, it's a high level drill and you'll see, um, Elliot Hicks, one of my former players just graduated from Emory university. He'll go through it at rapid speed. I'm not going to make you watch eight minutes of him shooting. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get something out of it. Cause that's really what we're all about is making sure you guys are getting better every day. So let's get started. All right. So our first drill is called a box drill. And this is a basic footwork drill. We're going to take some elbow jump shots and we're going to take uh, some, get some layups in. Okay. Um, this drill, you could add lots of different things to it. I put a, a YouTube link um, at that tiny URL I gave you at the beginning where you can see a, a high school player doing it with different variations. But these are the basic variations that, that we use and that I think will help you guys get better. So this first one, this is Elliot here. He's going to spin the ball out. He's going to come to a two-foot jump stop. Everything we do is off of a two-foot jump stop. Gives you balance, allows uh, both feet to be used as a pivot foot. Okay, so he's going to spin it out, and he's going to use a drop step. You hear about drop steps being used a lot in the block in this area down here. All right, but we're going to use it from right up here. If you got a defender um, that's maybe a little bit quicker than you or a little sm uh, smaller than you, using a drop step will allow you to get by him pretty quick. So let's take a look. We're going He's going to do that twice on both sides uh, to start out here. So here he comes, two foot jump stop, drop step, one dribble to a layup. We're jump stopping, one dribble to a layup. Okay, we'll see it one more time. Jump stop, one dribble to a layup. Okay, so that's the drop step. The next drill we're going to do, he's going to just spin it out, and he's going to use what's called a reverse pivot. He's going to fake the drop step, and he's going to pivot right back to the middle. There I go. All right? Right back to the middle for that jump shot. Okay? If you're using that drop step and you get you beat your defender one time, okay, uh, you want to be able to have a counter to it. Okay? So he's working on that. Elliot hasn't played competitive basketball since he graduated here four years ago. He's been down at Emory. Uh, he, was, he was a great help for us here. Um, and he's kind of demoing what I, I, I encourage you guys, and that is not worry about the result right away. Worry about the process and getting better. Okay, now he's going to use that same move, except he's in a pump fake, shot fake, and rip through to the rim. Okay, so it's a drop, fake drop, step, spin around, pump fake. He steps across his body and goes and lays it up. Again, another counter to that same move. Okay, fake. See how, as you can see his footwork there, 
He's doing a great job, not traveling, right? He's not moving this pivot foot until the ball is on the ground. Next time here, he's going to use what's called a reverse pivot, or some people call it an inside pivot. I, I like a reverse pivot. He's going to open up and just shoot the jump shot, okay? We use this if someone's trailing you, okay, coming off a down screen, you're flashing up, and someone's right behind you. Sweeping that leg out in front creates that space to get that jump shot off, okay? We're just opening up, jump shot. Okay, so you're doing that two times on each side. You can see all this stuff can be done. You don't need a rebounder. You can just need yourself and a rim. Now he's going to do the same thing, except now he's going to, again, use that counter. So here he goes. Sorry. Here he goes. He's opening up and then ripping and going, right? He's opened up. That guy's trailing him, creates that space. He comes out at him, and he goes right by him for the layup. All right, it's good to alternate finishing with inside and outside hands because you never know where that defender is going to be. Okay, so he's opening up, and now he's crossing back over and coming to the opposite side, right? So that same counter, right, he's opening up. He's going to give a pump fake. to Like he's going baseline, and he's going to go opposite across using the rim to protect the ball so that if a defender is coming from the help side, uh, he he can get there and use that space to finish the shot. And I actually included two other variations of the box drill at that tiny URL. So you'll be able to check that out. This next drill is a chill drill. This is Eli Riley. He played here a few years ago. He's getting up and flushing this one. So what we're going to do this is called a chill drill. And it's a really simple drill, and you'll be able to walk through it here. We're going to do two in and outs up the sideline. You'll see him do that. Okay, we're going to get to the sword, and we're going to spin dribble. Notice how he changes hands before he spins. He, he, he might have done it a little bit early, but he's changing hands there to create space so he's not going to travel the ball. Spin dribble, All right, spin in here. We're going to get to a point. We're going to, we're going to uh, anticipate a trap or something like that. We're going to use a retreat dribble. He's using his arm bar here to protect the ball. Okay. And then he's going to work on going behind the back. He's going to explode to this corner and go between the legs here. And now at the three-point line, somewhere in this area, you can make any move you want. I prefer a crossover between the legs or maybe a hesitation move, and we're going to go finish the ball. Finish the ball. Okay. And that's a drill you can do from both sides. We'll see, we'll see him do it again here, in and out, in and out. There's our spin dribble. There's a retreat dribble, two big steps. Okay. And then we're going in and finishing again. Okay. And so that's called the chill drill. You guys can do that, you know, doing that five or six reps. It's going to get you a lot of work on individual moves, right? You got to use your creativity and your imagination there, right? To anticipate why am I going in and out? Is there a guy reaching? Okay. What, when would I spin? Well, I'm only going to spin if I'm maybe in transition. You don't really want to spin in the half court because that's exposing the ball to somebody behind you. OK, but you're getting a lot of work with a lot of different moves in and you can do that um, quickly and at a high level using the chill drill. OK, and then to do some more ball handling, we use what we call a two ball series. This is one of our uh, one of my favorite plays from the last five years, the buzzer beater at one of our rivals, um, the Hun School. OK, so we're going to start with a stationary two ball dribbling. OK, so you do need two balls. So we've, we've doubled the amount of things you need for this, but you don't actually need the court to do this. So you could do this in your driveway. OK, we're going to go two ball dribbling. All right. We're going to go pound the ball at your about your waist. OK, and then we're going to go pound your balls down low uh, around your ankles. OK, again, just just recovering. Notice how he's in athletic stance. His eyes are looking at the camera and now we're pounding it up. Okay, one thing about ball handling drills that's important, guys, is that you want to push yourselves to make mistakes. See how he's kind of losing it? All right, here he's going one ball low, one ball high. Okay, that's really focusing on both hands individually, and now we're switching that up. Okay, we're going to get moving here in a second. Okay, so now we're going to go two ball, just moving. Again, he could be doing a better job keeping his eyes up. Okay, but again, he's pushing himself to try to make mistakes. You're only going to learn if you make mistakes. you got to be willing to make a mistake. Again, focus on the process, not on the outcome, right? You're not winning a state championship there. 
Now we're into some zigzag drills, okay? We're going to zigzag first thing with just the two balls, right? We're zigzagging here, um, working on our change of pace, change of directions, okay? And then we're going right back to where we started, okay? So we're going two ball dribbling, okay? And this is something we do at camp a lot with our ball handling stations, um, dribbling with two hands. Now he's going to go uh, crossing over here, both balls switching hands. See how he's losing the balls a little bit there? That's I love to see that when someone's using ball handling because that means they're pushing themselves so they can make mistakes, all right? You're not going to get any better just doing stuff that's easy. So you got to push yourself to be able to make those mistakes and learn from them, right? It's only a mistake if you don't learn from it. Here we're going double in and out now. Same idea, double in and out, all right? Again, Elliot's pushing himself. Um, He's going to Caltech, so he's probably not going to be depending on his ball handling uh, for his PhD there, but uh, we appreciate him working out with us here. All right, now we're going behind the back. Okay, so one's behind the back, and this is, again, something you're going to push yourself to. Elliot could probably get a little bit lower here if he wanted to, but he's doing a great job. He's pushing himself, and it was really windy. You can't really tell, but it was really windy out here uh, for these drills. So, um, again, pushing yourself to try to make those moves as much as you can looking up. Now we're going between the legs, okay, for our last one here, all right? Um, and we did put a couple of extra ones in our two ball series uh, PDF that you can download. Okay, so he's finishing up uh, with that. Again, pushing himself to make mistakes and that's how we grow. All right, and this is a shooting challenge, okay? Uh, this is Elliot actually right here, his senior year. Threw this picture in there, found this on my laptop. All right, this is a Dame Leonard shooting challenge, and I'm going to uh, explain it to you in words, and then I'm going to show you a couple reps, and then we're going to be able to look through it so you can kind of see what, what happens. But basically, the idea is that Damian Lillard is a great shooter, but he's great at not only shooting threes, but also the mid-range. So what you're going to get in this drill is you're going to take 50 shots, okay, 10 shots at each of five spots. You're going to take four threes, three pull-ups going to your left hand, and three pull-ups going to your right hand. Okay, we're going to score the drill. Every three-point shot's worth three points, and every pull-up was worth two points. All right, for those of you guys that aren't math teachers, okay, that means you're going to get a total of 60 points for your threes and 60 points for your twos, okay, because you're actually going to shoot more pull-up jump shots than three-point shots, all right? And your challenge here is to try to get as close to 120 points as you can, all right? So let me show you what we're talking about here, okay? So again, no rebounder, don't need anything. If you have a rebounder, it makes it easier. So we're taking, spinning it out, all right? We're looking for the three-point shot. And then we're going to the corner again, okay? And now we're going to go pump fake, and we're going to go one dribble to our right hand, all right? And take that, all right? And then we're going out here again, pump fake to our left hand, and then taking that jump shot. We're going to follow that up with another three, okay? And now we've, I've changed to the wing here just so you can see because we're going to move around. We're going to do that. We're going to do that rotation. All right, three, one to the left, one to the right, three, one to the left, one to the right, three, one to the left, one to the right, three. And that's going to get us 10 shots at each spot. And you'll see that when he does it again. But let's watch him here again. The key here, all right, as you catch that and you open up, whether you're using a passer or not, you got to get your eyes on the rim. Okay, you got to get your eyes on the rim, give a good pump fake so it looks just like your regular shot. We're going left or we're going right. All right. And so, here he goes again. There's it to the left, hitting that jump shot. All right. And you're getting a lot of good conditioning. And you'll see when he when we do the whole thing here, how much running around it was. So that was the end of one of his rotations. Um, so you can see that. All right. So then let's look here at pretty high speed, how he got his 50 shots. I, he got he scored about 57 here. So here he's starting out, right? There's the the first three. And now we're going to speed this guy up a little bit. Okay. So there's a second three. You can see having a rebounder would be uh, much more important. I think he made a little mistake with that order there. or I didn't give good coaching. Um, and now he's at his third three there. One left. One right. Okay. And now we're moving spots. Okay, and you can see how much um, conditioning he's getting. And you can see the wind now better in the trees. So he was even pushing himself against the elements. Okay, he was struggling here a little bit, but, uh, you know, getting better, freezing his finish, 
finding that target. Now is the top. Okay. Doing a great job working. You can see how much conditioning he's going to get in this. And if this is something, if you want to become a great shooter, one way to, you got to figure out how, how good you are by challenging yourself. Okay. And again, this is something I, you can, you can go on, you can videotape, you can put your phone down, you can have mom or dad or a friend videotape you doing it. I want to know your max score. Okay. You can tag me on Twitter or on Instagram. Okay. Uh, at coach Crocker. Okay, and I put that in the PDF again as well at that same tiny URL uh, slash Emberg Hoops. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're almost at the fifth spot. Okay, you can see left and right. We're getting a lot of reps in, and I will tell you this took about this took about five minutes or seven minutes for him to complete. Um, and this was outside, and I only got a couple of his rebounds because I wanted to really be able to show you that. All right, and here is his second to last pull up, right? Getting that lucky roll. And then uh, here we go. I'm ready to celebrate the made three. Okay, so, and th so that's Dame Lillard shooting. All right, what I hope you guys get out of this is some tools to make yourselves better at home. You know, I wish we could all be here. We could be going through all kinds of stuff. We could be pushing. We could be playing some five-on-five -five games, all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, where we're at, right, with this pandemic, we can't be here. So use the mantra, something's better than nothing. If you're getting better and your friends, your teammates aren't, then you're going to have more opportunity later, okay? If you're pushing yourself to be uncomfortable and make mistakes and grow from that, you're going to be in a better position than you were. It's not the same as being out playing a lot of camps. It's not you're not getting the same relationships. You're not having the same amount of fun. We're not going in the pool after a hard day in our in our hot gym. Okay. Well, I really hope to see you guys back here at camp next year, uh, getting better and having a lot of fun. So again, I look forward to our Q and A. And again, that URL, and I'll put it up on the screen here in a second, is just www.tinyurl.com/embergehoops. All right. All the best. Hope you're doing well. Go Storm.